black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. All right, so I picked up this fresh ass white loaf the other day. I gotta use up some of it. I'm craving burgers. I've got some ground beef in the fridge and I wanna make a nice secret sauce, a special sauce. I'm just gonna whip everything together and we'll see how it comes out. But we're gonna do two different styles of burgers. One kind of Whopper, one kind of loaded banquet kind of styles. There'll be other things here momentarily, but for now I wanna use this bread and I didn't wanna buy new buns and waste the bread, so we're having Red burgers sort of deal, you know what I mean? Base foundation, mayo of course, always, for a special sauce. A little squirt of ballpark, a little squirt of Dijon, a little squirt of Baby Ray barbecue, hit of ketchup, a little dash of Tabasco, a scoop of horseradish, a little bit, a little bit of garlic, a nice pinch of salt, and minced pickle, and we whip. Okay. Nice. I gotta roll out some patties that are somewhat bread shaped. I don't wanna have like pucks on these burgers. I want them to kind of be like flat, thin, perfectly shaped to adhere to the bread, which is gonna be a hard shape to make, but you know, we'll get almost the way there, hopefully. Bust out the old trusty rolling pin and make it, make it thin. And you don't have to dirty up your hands and touch raw meat. Nice. All right, couple squares, couple even squares here. Gently lift these onto here. All right, I'm gonna put these in the freezer just to firm up a bit. So for these, I'm opting for a shreddy letty, a chiffonade letty. We haven't shown some chiffonade skills in a while, I guess. I don't really know why I'm showing you the shredding of lettuce, but it is kind of enjoyable from time to time. So we roll it up and we shift it on down into this nice angel hair latouche. All right, because that's how we like it. Nice and thin and shreddy. Couple tomato slices, perfect slender slices. Not too, too thick. We like them slender around here. Perfect stack onto the prep plate and of course our segregated little bit of pickles prep plate and we're gonna take these up a little bit of a notch by adding some steak cut onion rings so we got some big boy onion rings here i'm gonna pull maybe i don't know five or six from the bag here toss them in because we are gonna top these burgers with some rings a couple rings into the air fryer of course and we're going 400 for like 15 minutes I had some extra crispy rings on deck. Nice and perfect. A little darker, but I do want them to be nice and crunchy in these patty melt sandwich burger things that we're having. So these off to the side for a moment. All right, we gotta do a nice little grill up on these breads here. So we gotta get some lipids, fats, oils, canola in this case. You could use butter, you could use whatever you want. Just some sort of fat and we go low and slow on the pan to make these nice and grilly on the outside. All aboard, everybody into the pan. See if we can fit four in here. I do believe we can. Perfect, perfect. Okay, so a little flippy to see where we're at on the golden ratio and it is looking pretty perfect. Crispy, a little bit firm. That's all we need though, just that, that perfect golden. Just gonna toast the inside like for a couple seconds and then we need to get these patties done and build. All right, seasoned patties, pepper salt, piping hot pen, time to go. Face down, baby. A light, a light smoosh. All right, time to flip. All right, this one, a piece of cheese. We're, we're deluxing one of these. Only the one though. Try to steam the cheese here for a little melty melt. All right, we got a melt. We got a melt, let's go. Let's build. All right, first burgers first. These guys shrunk up pretty good, so we're not making the whole spread of the bread, but she'll work. So this one will be the Whopper-esque. So we gotta go pickles, 
directly onto the beef. And then we have to catch up that, of course. And then we sub that out and we heavy mail the tippity top. And then we go the shreddy letty right here. And then the giant tomato thin slices, but still giant tomato slices. Slide that out, slide this in. We come in with two rings and then we do a closing of the lid. Flippity. Slide to the side. Time to build the next. Base foundations. Cheesy patty. Onion rings here. The special sauce drizzle in the center, of course. We're opting no pickles on this because there's already a lot of vinegary pickle in the sauce. I'm gonna put a bit of the sauce over here for adhesive for the lettuce. Lettuce. Tomato trifecta. Slide this back and we flip on in again. All right, cross section time. We doing diagonal angles today and diagonal stacks. All right, open that up. There we go. Yee! Stack it and tack it. There we go. Burger one. And now we gotta cross sec the Whopper-esque. Reveal that Whopper sandwich. There we go. Let's get to eating. All right, y'all, welcome to an episode of Using Up the Bread with Shitty Hat in the Fridge, making, um, you know, burger sandwiches, things. We've talked about it as it's come together. Uh, you know what it is at this point. But before you do anything more, it must. Papa, poor. We have Dr. Pepper again in a liter container, which these are so cheap at the store right now. They're like 57 cents. So they're just giving them away. So I've been picking up a few DPs. We have our Sledder Shredder. And by the way, I cannot believe that a dollar store sticker has lasted the test of time, the adhesive. I feel as if the hot water has made it so that the, the adhesive, the glue just, it has concrete adhered to this cup at this point. And it's nuts to me that after a few years, a dollar store sticker of a guy on a sled from back in 19 dickety two is still hanging on <laughs> and still around, but I'm starving. It's my one meal for the day. I'm kind of back on my one meal a day type 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 jam type vibes i love to do fasting like that it's just it just works for me you know eat mid to late in the day you know four or four o'clock four thirty five type thing fast and then just fast after till that time again tomorrow basically maybe a little snack here and there but for the most part a one meal guy all right, we got the little banquet burger minus bacon. Didn't have bacon today, but I don't know which one to try first. I think I'm gonna go with like the more deluxe guy version. But here you go. Look at that. A close up. Oh, that melt. That patty melt. It's kind of like a patty melt, but not really, but sort of thing. Anyways, you know what I mean. All right, this is kind of encroaching, encumbering my situation, but we get a bite. Should we bite cam it? I haven't bite cammed in forever. <laughs> All right, we're bite camming. All right, that corner edge right there. Actually, no, that's the bite right there. That perfect middle. Okay. That's a wow, wow, wow moment. There we 
everything about it bangs. First time I made that version of like a, a special sauce or a secret sauce. Never really tossed garlic in before, never done barbecue additive, horseradish, but it's working. It's nice. That's a good sauce. All right. Palate cleanse. And then we get into the, do I have something on my nose? I do. What is that? It looks like the uh, casing off one of the granular parts of the grainy mustard. All right, the Whopper style patty melt. Featuring the onion rings. Anybody who's watched any of my Whopper videos, you know that I always get not always, but lots. A small order of onion rings to stack on the burgi. But yo, mm. so hard to like they're both good but something about the Whopper flavor combination just always triumphs on my palate Amazing. Yes. All right. Let's go for a, uh, a little extra saucy bite. I brought the sauce on side, like that extra, like the special sauce on the side. So you guys know me. I can't have a meal where I don't just pile it on at some point. I'll say this. For having put a light dash of Tabasco, the Tabasco really comes through. I think I'd half that amount which is crazy because it wasn't really a lot but the Tabasco definitely is very outspoken and not in a spicy way Just in its flavor profile, like vinegary, peppery. Mm. One of those days where I'm just <laughs> ravenous and more. <laughs> focused on the food rather than 
commenting about my life or the world or anything like that. It was the food. I suppose, however, on that note real quick, I will just mention one thing about that is that I saw a comment recently, somebody saying like, why don't you comment on like, you know, this specifically was, why don't you comment on like the Kanye West situation? Or like world events and media stuff. I try to not pay attention and give my energy to that in my life. I don't really care what Kanye West is up to, you know? I overhear things, I see shit, I know what he's go, what's going on, but I don't give my energy to that because Kanye's life just doesn't affect my life. I just don't care to, to really know about what Kanye is up to, you know? <laughs> I'd rather focus my energies on learning about more important things or cleaning my house or doing dishes or literally anything else other than like consuming mass media, these like celebrities and pop culture, really. I just, I, don't, I just don't care. About those people, they don't. They hold no weight, no weight in my, my world, in my reality. Kanye's going to get up to his fuckery regardless. And what he's, why, when he's doing that, he's just feeding off energy, right? He, the fact that he's out here doing all that is so that he can get eyes and ears on him and that feeds his life. So, but, uh. Yeah, I don't know. I just, I, I don't love to pay attention to the world like that. Like, I just, it's not, I'm just like, I don't care what's going on with the news or the meat, like any of the shit. I just, I don't care. I really just do not care. I'd rather live in my, my own bubble, my world and mitigate all that and just navigate and find the things that I like to enjoy that further my, the things that I want to learn about. More or less in life. So I try not to feed that machine. And cook sandwich burgers instead. <laughs> and try to like keep my peace. Because I don't want to speak about all the things that he's speaking about. It's too divisive. <laughs> There's no winning at that game either. Ideologies, feelings, religion, race, all that does is just stir pots. And then you find yourself in like just unnecessary turmoil, basically, it seems. So abrasive, divisive, stirring pots. It's not my vibe. Anyways, <laughs> these were my vibe, delicious. Um, hope you enjoyed it. And uh, maybe make them at home when you have <laughs> extra bread to use up. Nothing wrong with having a burger on some bread, right? Still very good. I know the bun is the tradition, but sometimes we break the shackles of tradition and go down other flowery, watery, yeasty roads, okay? 
All right, <laughs> until the next one, you know what to do. Eat good, live well, stay true. If you like this content, please like, comment, and subscribe, as well as check out my pinned comment down below to find other ways to support this channel. Thank you for watching. Eat good, live well, and stay true.